Hello, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 bringing you another Exhibition Match stream. And before I do, I'm going to point out that there is a 1v1 tournament next week. The monthly 1v1, well, okay, monthly tournament. Which for July is 1v1, because it alternates between 1v1 and 2v2. July is 1v1. That is next weekend, July 28th. No, sorry. July 26th, next Saturday, at 9 a.m. UTC. I'm fairly certain the time may be up for change, but the date isn't. It's definitely going to be next Saturday. Keep an eye on the forums for that and sign up, because the more players, the merrier. It's just a lot more games to see. The melee does take longer to get through, but yeah, as long as we're organized and on time, it shouldn't be too bad. But for the time being, just exhibition matches, starting out with Lowry and Flipstep on Titan Duel. Lowry starting in the northwest corner of the map, going for Hovercraft Factory, while Flipstep. Southeast side going for something more typical heavy tank factory, though admittedly, hover tanks have started to become more typical on this map, but this... I mean, it's hover tank, sort of, but primarily, or hovercraft rather, but primarily it is light vehicle and heavy tank. Those are the ones this map caters to. Admittedly, hovercrafts, it can work too. Hovercrafts are just a little bit tricky because of the way daggers work. They're high alpha, but low rate of fire means that you have to be kind of careful how you use them, but overall, they're not too bad. It's just... Make sure you run with them as you attack. Similarly with Kodachis, but then again, Kodachis are also tougher and deal more damage per shot. So, yeah, kind of, you see Hovercraft usually used for daggers, basically trying to go for snipes. Really quick hit and run snipes. And it looks like that is what Lowry has planned. He's got three daggers so far, and they look like they're trying to go... I don't know if they're going to try to go for the commander. Probably not trying to go for the commander. That won't work very well. While Lowry, on the other hand, getting just... Snipe off Medley Striders when, or sorry, flip tip, gonna go snipe off Medley Striders when, he fi when they find them. Lowry, on the other hand, is going to try to figure out when they can f get rid of Flipstep's commander. Or if not, no, never mind, going for the Medley Striders, trying to figure out if there are any Medley Striders there, and no, there aren't. Flipstep hasn't gone for any, so Lowry needs to get around and, well, not die, that's the important thing. But unfortunately, losing two daggers right off the bat, and the Kodachi for Flipstep coming in. Not finding the metal extractors easily, but still going to find them. Actually, it's going to hit. That Kodachi's not going to hit the best metal extractor at first, but it's still going to deal enough damage. Still should be able to get rid of this. Yeah, it gets rid of the radar, which is a big deal. Gets rid of the metal extractor too, I think. But still alive, still doing pretty well, so there's not much to say about that other than it's basically a successful attack. Yep, got rid of the metal extractor. That was a totally successful attack. The radar was a nice bonus, and got rid of another dagger too, so Flipstep is doing pretty well right off the bat. Switched over to Welders, and now switching to Pretty Heavy Panther. A couple Kodachis in play, but everything else is Heavy Panther. And Lowry has to rebuild somewhat. Oh, shit. Sorry, I forgot to set my interface properly. My mistake, I apologize. Anyway, that's better. So, as I was saying, Lowry does... Oh, wait, that... Of course, Lowry doesn't have to do that either. Yeah. Lowry is a bit on the back foot, though ultimately it not, not that badly. I mean, they've pushed back into defensive position, though at the same time, Lowry is expanding. Does have Raider up, does know when Flipstep is coming around, so Lowry isn't too bad off. Expanding along the west side of the map, going from the west side of the map all the way down to the southwest. While Flipstep, on the other hand, pretty much doing the opposite, going north along the east side. Neither player seems to be taking the center too quickly, though admittedly Flipstep does have a welder along the south side taking that out. And Lowry is... Well, Lowry is actually not doing too bad, not getting hit very much. Not sure if Lowry would survive getting attacked, but definitely isn't being put to the test. However, the Kodachi now coming in to try to test this out. We'll be able to get rid of the Lotus and... Possibly, yeah, Metal Extractor I think will go down, but the Lotus will definitely go down without being repaired. That Metal Extractor is... Oh, that Metal Extractor is... Fine, it's it's going to survive. The Lotus is a is also going to survive a bit of a more precarious position, but still not too bad. And the Kodachis basically did nothing. Flipstep, on the other hand, he has switched... Or, they have switched over to Panthers. And a couple of welders. Well, more welders as well. Getting a fair number of welders is not uncommon for Heavy Tank Factory. On the other hand, for Hubcraft... Okay, more quills coming up for Lowry as well. Though maces are the switch. And I'm not sure I really agree with that. I think that scalpels would be a better option against Panthers, just given their speed and the stunning effect. High alpha, high damage, homing is just going to be far more effective. 
But no, Lowry is going instead for Maces. We'll see how that goes, but I think Flipstep has the advantage here. I mean, he definitely has a slight economic and military advantage, but I do think that he just has the advantage overall. Unit composition, sorry, they have the advantage. Unit composition, pretty sure Flipstep is male, so it probably doesn't matter so much, but yeah, unit composition is just better. The Kodachis, they can get rid of the daggers without issue. The maces would be a problem with the Kodachis, but the Kodachis can just run away from the maces far faster. And the Panther, okay, it's only one Panther so far. Surprisingly, not a great deal of them. I expected more of them at this point. However, we're going to see the fight come in, and Kodachi, wow, it can deal the damage, but it does not last long enough. So for the Kodachis, the maces are a good idea, but for the Panthers, I kind of doubt it, especially once we get to see about six or seven Panthers. As soon as, uh, okay, if they're close enough, then it's a problem. And considering range differences, okay, range 250 compared to Mace, which is a range of... 355. So that is the advantage on range. That is a big advantage for maces. So I can see why Lowry's going for that. Never mind. I forgot about the range advantage. And with that, I can see why Lowry chose to do this. But then again, Banisher's coming in. Not sure I agree with that as a counter. I mean, Reapers would probably be better for health and overall damage. Not much more expensive. But we'll see. The maces are... Not attacking too heavily. Both players are really just trying to consolidate their map control. Neither one wants to put too much of a commitment into attacking at this stage. They're just trying to set themselves up. The raiding stage is pretty much over at this point. The maces are stopping that. And Lowry hasn't been able to get a shot in edgewise to flip step this entire game. Anyway. So, overall, not at all surprising. Players just... Building up their armies. We do have Banishers Panthers coming in here, and I think... I think once one of the maces goes down, Flipstep will get quite a bit of confidence in dealing with this. And surprisingly, Stardust being built up. I've noticed these are being built up a lot more than they used to. I never really noticed Stardust outside of the occasional time when I'd look at the way chicken matches were played. But in 1v1, they don't come up very often, but yeah, they've been more common now. And one of the Panthers goes down as a result, Flipstep losing that, and also losing the Northeast. And the mace is coming in, taking out, wow, harassing with the maces. Well, that will do the trick, although the Banishers... Banishers proving their worth. I mean, Banishers do deal six. Well, okay, seven hundred damage a shot, which isn't bad. Though that mace was a bit damaged beforehand. Still, that's a lot of damage. And given that they do have a range of four thirty, outranging the maces, I think the maces would be able to rush a single banisher. Reapers, I think, would have been better. Op would have been a better option. And Reapers are being built as well, so that's good. Just because, yeah, Reapers have slow protectiles, but honestly, I don't think it matters that much. We have Scalpels as well coming up for Lowry, as well as an airplane switch. So Lowry does have counter set up for the Banisher, pretty much. Because this does outrange it slightly. 450 compared to 430. The slight outranging on the Scalpel. Has to be careful with micromanaging that, but yes, it is outranged. And the Mace now coming in. One of the Maces being brave and dying for it. And it appears that Banishers and Maces are just too close in speed. Actually, Maces are slightly slower than Banishers. So there's no catching up to that one. Scalpel Hill, unfortunately, going to go... Oh, not going to go down. One health left in the Scalpel. That is the luckiest Scalpel in the world. Whether it'll become useful at all, we'll see. But at this stage, at least that Scalpel is not dead. Because that's like 220 metal that Flipstep would not want... Sorry, but Lowry wouldn't want to lose. That Flipstep would want to have Lowry lose. Flipstep would love if that was lost, but nope, not going to happen. However, Scalpel is going down. Dagger trying to even get rid of the Kodachi, and the Dagger will go to the Kodachi, but that was really close. And even then, the dagger was on fire, thanks to the Kodachi Fireball. So overall, Lowry... His air switch is going to be his trump card. There is no anti-air built right yet, no Cobras or anything... Or is it co yeah, Copperheads, sorry. No Copperheads, no Cobras either, that's the static flat gun. Okay, nothing really set up to deal with air. The Banishers, I think, can hit. Yeah, the Ravens are coming up, which, surprisingly, the Caretaker is not helping. Actually, Lowry is accessing metal. Another Caretaker or two would be a really good idea around here. Just to get that Raven up faster and use up all that metal. Although, admittedly, he does need more energy as well, but still, use those resources up. He needs to use them up. He is getting more and more Solar Collectors, that's good. In the front line, we do have Flipstep setting up a Stinger, which... That won't really help when it comes to the Ravens. So at this point, Flipstep actually is pouring a fair amount of money into something that is not going to be helping out. Lowry has a bit of a bit of an edge of this stage, or at least has, he has an opening. They have an opening. They can get in on here with the Ravens. However, they're going to need about 
I'd say six to ten Ravens to really take advantage of this. Because once the first one is spotted, Copperheads will be out. No Copperheads are out so far though. Slipsip does not suspect a thing, but there will be fairly soon. However, enough scalpels are coming in that should be convincing. In fact, once the scalpels get sight of the Copperhead... Ooh, not even bothering the Copperhead, just getting rid of the Panther instead. Nice shot there. If they get rid of this Banisher though, both the Banishers, that should convince Slipsip that Lowry is going pretty heavily for ground. But now Lowry is going for another Caretaker for air. Is pushing a lot of resources into Ravens. How many Ravens are there so far? There are four Ravens, one of which is in production. And Maze is well coming in, so Louder doing a really good job making Flipstep think that he's going to be hit by a lot of ground forces. So is going to be investing far, far more in ground. Actually getting more caretakers as well, just to invest further into the tank factory, rather than building around the map. So Lowry doing a perfect deception into an air switch, however, only with four Ravens is he going for an attack. He wants to snipe the commander out immediately. Commander, Flipstep's commander is going for a morph, which isn't... A bad time to go for the snipe, but yep, it's gonna go for the snipe. One of the ravens goes down, and the other ravens get in and successfully snipe. That is a commander down. Flipstep loses his commander, loses their commander, and that is actually not that big of a deal. Flipstep has enough of an economy that, frankly, losing his, losing their commander, not a problem. It really isn't a problem. Their commander is at this stage of the game. Anyone's commander at this stage in the game at like ten minutes in the game. If the economy is being built up, especially on a map like Titan Duel, it's a bit of a pain. I mean, commanders are pretty tough workers, but overall, not a big problem. Just go reclaim the corpse and it's fine. But an air switch coming in for Lowry, as, sorry, for Flipstep as well. Flipstep not going for Copperheads, instead just going for probably Swifts. Yep! He is in fact, they are in fact going for Swifts and Hawks. I feel like I get better in that habit. They're going for Swiss and Hawks, which means Lowry basically has one more shot with the Ravens. I think Lowry is going to go for that. Possibly go for the factory directly. I mean, the factory is up just about. I don't think... No, not suspecting the factory at all. Looks like it's just air support with the scalpels coming in and dealing most of the damage. And Maze is coming along the side. Lowry is starting to turn this around. There's definitely an econo uh, sorry, a military advantage for Lowry. I'm not sure how much that is Commander, though. I think Commander... Where is the Commander? Commander is over here. No, the commander's not even upgraded. There is no military advantage thanks to the commander. That is all the scalpels and ravens. So, Lowry getting a hawks of their own. While the swifts have started to be built. First swift is out for Flipstep. And Lowry coming with more and more scalpels. Taking the northeast, taking the southwest. Lowry has taken an economic advantage and definitely a position advantage as well. Flipstep is probably going to try to pierce through the center though. The center is fairly scarcely defended. I'm sorry, sparsely defended, not... It, well, defenses are scarce, that's true. But yeah, it's fairly sparsely defended, if defended at all. And Flipstep, gonna take out this metal extractor in the center. Will lose a Kodachi in the process, but the Banisher can, in fact, hit air. Oh, it's no surprise there. Can, in fact, hit air, but Scalpel's coming in, getting rid of the Banisher. Or another Banisher getting, being destroyed by the Scalpel's. This is not going at all well for Flipstep. Getting pushed back gradually... But inevitably, as the Hawks continue to get air control for Lowry, Lowry, pretty confident about his air control. Their air control. Damn it. Uh, uh, why must English have gendered pronouns? Anyway, their air control. And Flipstep is. Well, he's losing the north side. Southwest side is. Well, Flips is pushing the south, south, southwest side fairly well with the Reapers. That should be able to get rid of this. No, this Stinger's not going to do much. The Stardusts are going to be a bit helpful, but even then, not going to help out too much. Not even going to lose a single Reaper in the process. This entire attack here, Lowry's Commander, his only hope, going up the hill. Pretty much the only way that Lowry's Commander can get out of there. Because, oh no, one, one Reaper did go down. Never mind. Oh, Lowry, no, Lowry is terraforming out a big trench to hide in. From the looks of it, yep. Lowry... Just digging a hole to hide themselves in while attacking from the north side. Losing another Raven, though, the air control is not as confident as Lowry would like, unfortunately. Switching over to Wyverns, however. Where was he going to attack with that? My guess is going to go for the factory, but it's hard to say because, first off, there are three factories. Flipstep having just added a Cloakabot factory for the purposes of getting more glaives for raiding, I suppose. Southwest side, however, has been taken from Lowry. 
But at the same time, the air control is going back to Lowry. And Wavern getting rid of a banisher. Not the most directly useful. I mean, it's still good. It does open up the room for the scalpels and maces to get through. That's good. It just seriously, Wolverine, that's 2,000 damage. A couple of those get rid of the factory. They go to the air plant, get full air control, and just go. Or it is 1,000, I believe. I remember offhand. Wolverine's, yes, 2,000 damage. So, yeah, a couple of those gets rid of the factory right off the bat. I mean, it does one-shot banishers, which is, that's useful. I give it that. However, Lowry non-attacking south from here, getting rid of yet another banisher, but non-attacking would be rather safe to do so. I think Lowry, what vision does Lowry have? Lowry... Fuck. Why must my hockeys always be reset on me? Damn it, game. Okay, whatever. He can't see what Lowry's looking at because my hockeys are reset for some stupid reason. Anyway. Honestly, I don't know what he's using as a source for those hockeys. Regardless, Lowry is attacking south, is taking advantage of the fact that there is a really wide opening, and Flipstep, I think, only has a few more minutes to last in this game. Although, no, never mind, I might be wrong. These Glaives coming into the center, going for a pretty powerful raiding run. The center is still fairly strong, but the north side taking a lot of damage. Lowry, it looks like he's going on a suicide mission with these scalpels. But, targeting the right things, and Lowry could really turn this around, especially... I don't think he knows about the geothermal plant. I don't think they know about the geothermal plant. They might. I can't tell because I need to actually change that hockey back because the stupid thing is not there. I don't know why. Why <sighs> can't things just work? Anyway. Lowry, however, is able to get rid of a lot of the glaives along the north side. So Lowry's north side, quite strong. South side weakening quite a lot, and Flipstep actually taking that out, even though Lowry does have their commander here. Flipstep basically has the southwest. Lowry's commander is as good as dead if it gets out of that hole. Looks like Lowry is trying to save it though. But these scalpels can't do all that much when they're that close to the Kodachi. Unfortunately, trying to do what they can, but it's really tough when range advantage is not being taken advantage of. Still, solid march south from the northeast side. Lowry not aware of Flipstiff's geothermal plant. But overall, still has a pretty good opening here. And unfortunately, wasting a couple of shots on that Hawk. No use, the Hawk is way too fast for those missiles. But still, Lowry has the economic advantage and is pushing that as best as he can, best as they can, into more maces. And here comes the attack along the north side. We do have no defense forces for Lipstep that are immediately available, and the mace should be able to get rid of the glaives without issue, so this base is really vulnerable right now. At the same time, we do have a center attack as well. Same unit composition, well, more maces, fewer scalpels, but still same general unit composition. So, the center attack, much more defended against glaives. This attack here, the maces aren't actually attacking the glaives. Once they start doing so, even then, won't, only two glaives go down. Three glaives, maybe. Scalpels, unfortunately, rather vulnerable, but that center attack, if it continues plowing through, should be able to win this. However, these scalpels are not going for the right targets. I don't know. Lowry not paying attention to this. Should... Okay, I guess getting rid of the glaives isn't a bad idea, but... Still, that's kind of tough to do. And a Kodachi in place, but... No, that's not the right thing to do. And the Wyvern goes down, tries to get rid of the Stinger. Unfortunately for it, does not succeed in doing so. No Wyverns anymore. We're switching over to pure Mace, pretty much. However, even with that, Flipstep, despite saving their main base, Flipstep's still losing a lot of the periphery, losing a lot of their economy, and at this point, Lowry can get out of here. Lowry can get their commander out of here and continue to build up in the southwest side. The northeast being contested by Flipstep's Reaper. No, actually, no contest, honestly. It's just the Reaper's coming in and destroying what it can. But at this point, Lowry... Lowry and Flipstep both lose in the center, but Lowry has a much easier time recovering. More money, more production capacity. Overall, just doing a lot better. Honestly... Lowry, as soon as Lowry goes in for round two, it's going to be over. There's not much more to be done here. Although, this Reaper here... Reaper is tanking a really nice amount of damage. In fact, with the Banisher support, that Reaper is doing a great job against the Maces. Scalpels are kind of necessary here. And the Banisher about to kill the Mace. Unless other Maces come in for support, but that Mace here is pretty much dead. We'll see how that goes, though. And 
Banisher getting hit by a mace, but unfortunately for the maces, not fast enough. However, it does get rid of the Banisher before the Reaper kills it. Massive mace graveyard here in the Southwest. Overall, though, Flipstep has lost the Southwest. Control of the Southwest is pretty firmly in Lowry's hands. And the Northeast, Flipstep just needs to attack. Flipstep not paying attention to this, not attacking from the Northeast. A little bit surprising that, but completely oblivious, apparently. What is Flipstep looking at right now? I, I, what's that? Camera control. Okay, I don't know what Flipstep is looking at right now. Because Flipstep apparently did not have the camera the send camera widget thing enabled, which for some reason you're allowed to disable. That is stupid because I need that. Anyway. With the airplane plant coming in, we do have nothing. Okay, so Flipstep not is confident about their air control, and so is Lowry, though Lowry does Lowry have any air units right now? Other than the No. Not other than the Ravens. The Ravens are the only ones that they have, and Flipstep finally gets rid of the Northeast expansion. Southwest, however, has been pretty secured by Lowry, and the center here for Flipstep, or the main base for Flipstep, not getting attacked directly, but Lowry just setting up for an attack. Ooh, this is tough. Do you... Why are these quills going over here? Why are they building... Lowry, pay attention! Pay attention! Okay, there we go. Getting those quills out of the way. Lowry was not focusing on that at all. Focusing too much on the center of the map. Does have a start of stuff, which is going to be useful for defense. I mean, like I said, the meta has shifted such that Stardusts are really useful. Everyone uses Stardust nowadays. And unfortunately, that would have been extremely useful to have in this area right now for these Glaives, because unfortunately, the Southeast is getting taken, sorry, Southwest is being taken once again by Flipstep. Lowry did not have enough defenses for that, not enough units for that, and despite Lowry having twice the army of Flipstep, is not really pushing it. I mean, the Maces are... Mace Scalpel isn't a bad idea, but Maces on their own, just not doing too well. Flails up as well, just to get rid of the hawks that come overhead and accidentally get in the way, which will be relevant in a couple seconds, I think, actually. Yeah, at least it blocks off the raven counters. And Mace is coming in finally here. At least that will get rid of the glaives, but still, that was a lot of that was a lot of cash that was lost here. I mean, fair amount to reclaim, but a thousand to reclaim. Oh wait, no, this area here. 500 reclaim, so it would have been about a thousand metal spent that was just lost there due to the lack of glaive counter, or even just a Stardust. Stardust in that particular case would have been great to have. And you see Rocco's R being switched over by Flipstep. So Flipstep going Rocco, Reaper, Banisher with, well, Swiss and Hawks as well for air support. A few Ravens will be coming in later. While Lowry is going for another Raven Strike, trying to get rid of these defenses in the center just to deal with this. I don't know why, honestly. Just get the southwest side. Let's destroy that. I mean, okay, it'll get, this will work. It'll get rid of the fences, but really, just... You can attack directly from the southwest choke point here, or the center-southwest choke point here, and that will do the trick. But at any rate, that defense set has been destroyed, meaning that there's basically just auto-move at this point. Lowry can just attack-move. Well, attack-move, it's just move. Lowry can just move in and tear apart everything. There's no stack defenses in the way. Well, one defender, but that won't really do any damage at all at this stage in the game. But the units being used, it's not going to matter. Now we're taking the Northeast once again, taking the Southwest somewhat securely. Glaives could take it out if they tried, but they aren't trying. There are no Glaives being built up. Flipstep has dropped Raiders once again, even with Cloakabout Factory. And the Scalpels are pushing in for the final push, or it looks like the final push. Phoenix not quite doing its job, unfortunately, for it. There should be Ravens as well. Yeah, there is a Raven as well. So, Hawks, Phoenix, Raven, four flips of the air. And on the ground, Banisher... Wait, whoa. Pillager. Okay, haven't seen that in a while. You're going for Pillagers now as well, although I'm not sure how well that'll work. Just due to the fact that there's a lot of mobile units, and he's not trying to deal with the defenses too much. I mean, admittedly, it will help with these Stardust. That Pillager will help with the Stardust, but other than that, it's going to be a little bit tricky to make work. Just given how many units Lowry has bearing down on Flipstep, I think the Pillager's not even going to get a shot off before it gets torn apart by Scalpels. The Banisher is a good... Banisher's a really good choice. That's been working out beautifully. But otherwise, I don't know. I mean, I know I said the Reaper was probably a better idea earlier on, and for health, I still kind of stick by that. But Banisher has not been doing too badly. Especially given the splash damage, especially given how small Scalpels are, Splash damage can come in handy, 
That's a lot of scalpel shots into the air. But even then, Lowry just has too much of an advantage. Lowry is going in for the kill. There isn't really anything Flipstep can do here. Flipstep has basically lost the game. I don't see any... I don't see any way out. I could be wrong, but I don't see it. However, the Pillager is actually getting a few shots in, but... Accuracy being a bit of a problem here. Lowry not letting his units remain stationary, which is exactly what should happen. And it's also going to help out against the Pillager, because that Pillager can't really hit them too easily. And now, that was the last Banisher. Pillager's the only thing left in the base, and another Pillager is being built. But these Scalpels can just move in with impunity. And that is going to be it. Get rid of the Glaives. Although the Pillager actually will have a bit of a chance. There looks like... Yeah, the Scalpels are stationary enough that a shot does hit for the Pillager. But, yeah, we just have too many units being built up. Lowry just is way too strong of an economy. Lowry just needs to push in and win the game. And yeah, there goes the Blue Bird Factory. And a nice Thunderbird to get rid of everything else. And Flipstip throws in the towel. That is game. GG. We have that game finished. So I hope you enjoyed that. Another one for you guys in just a moment after I fix these stupid hockeys. So stay tuned for that.